WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 268, NASDAQ up 91, S&P's up 21. Gold, gold continues higher, $29.40 higher, 26.10. Now, gold's on its way to just a one-to-one, -one, folks, is 28.05. So they got another couple hundred dollars just to finish the one-to-one -one A to B equals C to D. You get silver up uh, 84 cents, $30.95. Light sweet crude, flat, $68.94 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, up 8 ticks, trading 115.13. The 30-year up 12 at 126.23 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down. Down 247 ticks, 101,118. 101, Euro 110, yen 140, British pound 131 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the SP, folks. Bottom line is that no doubt, heck of a week. We take a look at this baby. Right now, she's trading up two bucks, going after the highs. Uh, if we put this on the weekly, let's put this on a weekly for a second. Good numbers, man. Bottom line, you're, you're approaching the high. Last high there, we had 265 million for the week. We get 225. Now, we haven't hit it yet, so it's still accelerating up as it's going into it. You know, if this is an ABC up, folks, it's a monster because what had happened on the weekly, Look at this on the weekly. Oh, wrong one. Okay. So on the weekly, uh, man, you get a big number. That's the, that's the bottom line. Let's go look at the Qs. Uh, there is a differential in the Qs. Versus the spy, and it's, it's quite a differential. Also, uh, the contraction today in the queues is pretty dramatic, 22 million. So the divergence is going to be pretty intense. That's on the daily. On the weekly, however, it's got the volume. Big time. It's all right, there, folks. Come right back.